Hi guys, today I'm just looking for old sketches that I can paint over because I'm in the mood to paint but I'm not really in the mood to draw anything. And this is my old sketchbook but I really like this one. It's from, it's from one of my old sketching tips video. I will be linking it in the description. This one at the time I kind of thought it went really well but now that I'm looking at it I'm seeing a lot of issues with it so I'm gonna try and paint over it so I can see if I can quote-unquote save it. This little mixing palette that I'm using, I'm not really sure what it's made of. The price tag is still there and it's 49 pesos, so it's about 1 US dollar, so I don't really know what it's made from, but yeah, that's what I'm using. The colors that I chose for this video are white, you'll always need it for gouache, um, burnt sienna, flame red, which is such a beautiful red, and then I put in some violet, which I didn't really end up using that much lemon yellow and i'm also adding ultramarine deep later on i'm mixing my white and yellow first and i'm adding some of my brown or my burnt sienna for the highlights put in the burnt sienna for the highlights too just so i can just so it's not a very sickly sort of highlight because lemon yellow is a very cool yellow and it will have that effect on it but yeah i'm just putting it to sort of bring it down a little bit so I'm using that mixture for my lighter colors and I'm just really using it to block in the lighter areas. And again, I'm being very careful to not use very thick paint initially. And you can even see in these first few layers, you can still see the sketch underneath. And so it's still very sheer. And I want to keep it that way because with gouache, when a paint gets when paint gets thicker, the easier it is to disturb. And you really don't want that for your first stages. It's one of the things that are hardest to navigate when you're first starting out with gouache and why it just takes so much practice to get used to that. It's a very temperamental medium but once you get to know it more, I think you guys will really find a lot of comfort in painting with gouache. When I was first starting out, there was just a lot of frustration and you can even see it in one of my older gouache videos. But now it's just, it's a very calming and enjoyable experience. The paint is just so smooth and I feel like it's very, I hope I'm using the word right, but it feels very decadent. It's almost like eating chocolate, it's so smooth how the paint just glides onto the paper and even on the palette, palette when you're mixing it, it's just a very enjoyable Thing to experience. And I know not all gouache will feel the same. But it certainly feels that way with my Holbein ones. But then again, it's very... It was also a little bit expensive, even though I did get the small tubes for them. The thing about them is those tubes will look really small, but then they will last so long. I feel like if you are starting out, just get just the primary colors with the Holbein and get a big thing of the bigger tube of the white, because it's the only one that I have that I've already started using up a lot of all the other colors i didn't really get to use a lot and i've been painting a lot with them so yeah they, these paints last a long way and they're, they're definitely worth it just for the experience and even when i'm using cheap brushes for them i don't feel like i've been i'm being hindered by them at all it feels like the paint really is just working for me and not it's not working against me 
it's just there and it's ready to work the way I need it to work and it even feels soothing the way the paint behaves it's I really don't know how to describe it but I really felt at peace while I was painting this So now with the eyes is where I'm starting to deviate from the original sketch. You can see on the first one that the eyes looked a little bit too big, which it's not really a problem in and of itself. I could have passed it off as a stylist choice, but the thing is that I, they were also very close together, so I really needed to fix that. And I also need to shave off a bit of her chin to really exaggerate her tilted down angle of her face. I feel like with my old sketch, I was making the eyes look larger just so it will look like it's tilted down but I didn't do it with the rest of her face and that's what happened. So I'm really trying to fix that on this one. And I have noticed that it's easier to mix mid-tones and highlights with the whole Holbein gouache than with Mia. I really don't want to compare them anymore because I do that a lot when I'm doing these videos but I want to explain why it felt like this was such a calming experience compared to my other gouache video where I was using my Mia gouache and that one was just a lot of frustration and I'm trying to explain to you guys why and a big part of it is because with Mia it's very hard to mix anything with white and not just have the white overpower anything or dull it down and initially i thought it was just because i was using titanium white instead of mixing white which titanium white sort of has this blue shift to it and so i tried using the mixing white which i had a big tub of from before when i was first first starting using mia So I used that and it was still the same. I think it's just how these paints are made that makes them not mix that well. And so I really think that if you're having trouble mixing vibrant skin tones or just very uh, vibrant highlights or mid tones, you should try to see and get the smaller tubes of the whole Holbein because they are sold individually too. Even if you just get the lighter colors, just so you can see if that is where your problems are. I feel like it likely is. The reason why I was using lemon yellow over the yellow that I personally like more, which is permanent yellow deep, is because lemon yellow doesn't have that much red to it. And so I can really push the warmer areas of her face more and make it stand out from a lot of the pink mid-tones that I was using for her face. So lemon yellow was great in this case. I really liked using it this time. Also, I really want to talk to you guys about going for changes in hues over contrast in values. I mean, I really hope I'm using the right terms here, but I'm going for more shifts in color rather than relying so much on contrast values wise. So if you compare it to the painting to the right, which is a very old one, but this one has very dark shadows right next to the highlighted areas, which is her face. And so the darker shadows really made the lighter areas pop more. And so that has always been my agenda with my paintings is to have a lot of darker colors be next to bright highlights to make the painting look more dynamic and interesting in my eyes. But if you guys remember my painting with the acrylic wash, the very first one, I was playing around with the use on that one because I could with the acrylic wash, it's much more forgiving. Yeah, but so I did that on that one instead of pushing the contrast with the values. And I really liked how that one turned out. So that's what I'm trying to do with this one, is to have more subdued 
changes in values but also but focus a lot more of my effort into subtle changes in color temperature and use to really push the piece and i really like this effect especially on this one it makes it look closer to what the picture would look like in natural lighting and you can even see that i didn't end up using my black which is something that I used to always have because it's very hard to get really dark values with gouache because they 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 just dry lighter than they are when you paint with them so usually I always have black with me just so I can have those really dark values but I didn't end up using it on this one I ended up using my blue and my burnt sienna more for the darker areas a mix or a mixture of both if I wanted a less saturated version of either. And I think on this stage you can already see her look very different from the initial open sketch but that's because with gouache there is a lot more room for error you can just build and build it up until you can get it to have the proportions that you want with pens because you can't erase them you can really just push it so far before it gets too dark and you, you can't correct them anymore but also other than those restrictions, I also just have very different goals for that piece than on this one. With this one, I'm trying to practice a different skill, but with the pen sketch, it was really just about having fun with my sketches, not really to make it look so finished, which is the opposite of what I had for this painting. But even so, I still maintained one of the tips that I said in, in that video, which is to have a focal point with the details and to slowly have them fade out more as you move away from that focal point. So for this one, the center of interest is on her face. So most of my time and effort in the painting was spent on painting that area. And as I moved farther away from her face to her hair, I'll spend less time on that until I get to the background, which is just really just this gray area. Um, I spent the least amount of time dedicating the painting on that part. But I do still think that I still will go over her hands a little bit more later on, just so I can flesh it out a little bit more than it is. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you again soon.